So I've already forced the US states into a zombie apocalypse. Now let's see what happens when we do it to the world. I've got cities in every continent all preparing. If it was anything like last time, this is going to be extremely deadly. These empires will also be able to expand and certain cities will gain their independence. If that is the case, they will be creating a new country. There are a lot of places that are still left off the map and I think humans are going to need pretty much all the help they can get. I'm also using the newest update to World Box, so that is definitely going to cause some changes compared to last time. Already, there's been a new village founded and a new kingdom. The Congo has decided to make a cameo appearance before the games begin. I have a feeling the zombies won't be the most terrifying force they've ever faced. That will always be the Belgians. Now, the world is quickly populating itself, and unsurprisingly, it's India and China at number one. Japan's not too far behind, but they're going to run out of island pretty soon. Everyone else is also choosing a leader, which I'm sure a lot of these leaders are going to end up being zombies, so it really doesn't matter. What is this king doing? Wow, this king is literally just traveling down the Nile River. He wanted to go visit his homies in the Congo, and now they're going on back. These kings are literally doing expeditions all around the world. This German guy is literally just exploring the Baltic Sea. Oh, and they're discovering Russia. They literally just settled Russia. We also have Louisiana placed down. You know, the U.S. is probably getting really scared of Canada, but Canada's going to have their hands full with Quebec, it looks like. Look at these little beautiful German huts they're building everywhere. Kind of terrified to see what they're going to do next. Especially because they're pretty much taking over all of Europe, but we'll see for how much longer, because the zombies are about to start spawning. And let's see who is the lucky number one. Where is Patient Zero going to start? That is actually brilliant for the humans. This is kind of best case scenario. They get to just stay over in that little continent. If they're lucky, all the terrifying wildlife will be able to handle the zombies easily. Now, Australia has 112 population. They're definitely doing pretty good. But even if this country completely collapses, it's not like there's going to be an army of zombies that are swimming across the oceans, right? Or can they do that? Egypt also just declared war on Turkey. And here is Patient Zero. Let's see who he attacks first. Well, he's just immediately gonna... Oh, luckily it was actually like a warrior that found him first. Wow, look at everyone. All the Aussies going around. They don't care about rugby or... What do they care about in Australia? I don't know if they were, like, tending to some scary animals, but they all stopped to defeat this one zombie. The problem is, one has been affected. At least one has been affected. Damn, so, damn who the hell is that? They got a giant over here in Australia? Oh, yeah, they literally have giants in this game. When did they add that? A 14-year-old fat giant. Well, that's something new. China's also declared war on Japan. A little reverse WW2. Now, I'm wondering if the AI empires are going to be a lot better at handling zombie invasions. Wow, they are really holding nothing back. The problem is, as long as you keep infected. Are you not going to deal with this guy? Yeah, see, that's the issue. Once he slaps one around, your population is just going to slowly decline. These humans are just not smart enough to handle zombies. Oh, very depressing to see all the old traits off of a new zombie body. The dude before was a miner and he, well, he was mortal. Now he's immortal. That's cool. He was 32 years old and now he's dead. I think the Australians were really doing a great job of taking over this entire continent too. It's really too bad. The king of Germany is dead. You would think that the Germans would probably be attacking Turkey as they're kind of distracted with Egypt. And Russia has just gained their independence from the Germans. Something must have happened when that German king died. The empire just kind of split in half. Now Egypt has declared war on Germany. Wow, you guys are aggressive. The USA is just completely eliminating Canada. They don't want to share this continent. Congo are also attacking China. I don't know what you're going to be able to do. Are there even boats in the world yet? I don't see anything out in sea just yet, but there's not a whole lot of coastal cities. And Canada has been destroyed. Also, Mexico's here. A United States Mexico, but maybe an independent Mexico one day. And chaos is ensuing in the upside down world. Zombies everywhere. And now, I think, finally have the upper hand on humans, especially if they just take out and infect one human per zombie. Oh, then they're good to go. Oh, this entire eastern side. Wait, this is the western side. It's completely collapsed. No more fat giants to save you now. This poor farmer in the north has no idea what's even going on. On. He's just trying to keep his crops alive. Bro, just calm down. The only thing that's going to be on the menu this year is you. Wow, this is terrifying. The horde is literally just going one by one to all the houses and like eating children. I don't know if they're eating children, but I like to fantasize that they are. The Australians are now down to less than 25 people. They're hunting down the final humans. Might as well escape to New Zealand if you can. Is there anyone over here? There is nothing over here. This looks like a pretty nice little place. I don't think zombies know how to swim. And even if they did, they'd have to move all the way through Indonesia, through Thailand, and then maybe they could start attacking India. India will not be easy to take out though. Japan is lucky to be alive right now. Looks like China really did a lot of damage. There's only 27 Japanese people on this island. I think the island is probably the thing that saved them. And the war that is raging in Eastern Europe is unheard of. A lot of casualties. Who would have thought? United Kingdom's just kind of trying to stay over here by themselves. Only 30 people right here. Whereas the U.S. almost have 400. This isn't even fair. Hopefully the Brazilians and Argentinians can do something about that. And the kangaroo empire is no more. It is literally just filled with these undead creatures. But they really don't know what to do. They're kind of just running around like a chicken with their head cut off. Oh, is this a giant zombie? Yeah, we got giant fat zombies now. Oh, he's not fat. 
Oh, he's... Oh, now I feel bad. He's also 62. This is some fun lore right here. There seem to be different types of zombies. There's these, like, gray ones. Are those minor zombies? Like, uh, are they under 18? Or do you send those zombies into the coal mines? Which actually goes hand in hand. If you're under 18, you should be working in the coal mines. China has been pushed all the way back up north of Mon... Oh, they just lost their capital. China is now just in Siberia. It's just a little gulag up here for 16 people. Unfortunately for them, these zombies will never stop. Ooh, and Turkey is right in the middle of the Eastern Hemisphere. If they take over this nation, it's going to be interesting to see what direction they move next. Now, if the Turkish military can somehow stop this initial wave, they're going to be doing pretty good. But it looks like it's already completely out of control. Don't let your king die. Don't go... No, no, no. That's that's exactly how you just burst into chaos. Complete anarchy is about to take over this nation. And you know what? Turkey was doing pretty good. They actually took over Germany. Germany's now just Spanish. Germany is literally Spain, except the S is silent. And there's also a nice little forest fire happening in Russia. That's always fun. Didn't even realize a new nation has been announced. We have Kazakhstan here. They've popped up and decided to join the fun. Unfortunately for them, their neighbors, Turkey, just got invaded. Now, I really want to see where is this wave going to head? Are they going to all kind of just split up, or do they generally find no humans to eat? They're going to go up through these mountains, which is probably not the best idea. Oh, India is being proactive. They're going to send their military units out to go fight them first. That's probably the best idea before they get over here. Keep them out of Iran. Oh, I think it's too late, though. I think that was all for nothing. Yep, they have decided they're going to attack India's Iran first or no actually this is Turkey still but that's still close enough to India's territory India has almost a thousand people in it why am I not surprised they also have this really nice colony in the bottom part of the Arabian Peninsula where are the boats at though should there be some boats and stuff love that all these zombies are kind of just like in a zombie paradise now like all the zombies that are out fighting this war are dreaming about one day going to Australia and retiring it's like the zombie Hawaii or something whoa the US has been struggling we now have a no no USA in modern day Texas as well as Mexico. I don't know how well Mexico is going to be doing. They're kind of smashed in between a lot here and they don't have a lot to work with either. I thought this was going to be the first time we'd ever seen the humans just completely roll over the invaders. We've done UFOs, we've done zombies, but they were so powerful in the beginning, I thought they'd just kind of keep America safe. That's probably not going to happen if they're like collapsing already though. Also, India is seeing revolts as well. Brazil is dead and then there's also still a USA colony in Venezuela. Oh man, it's a dream come true for them. Turkey's made peace with Russia, which I don't even know why. Russia only had like 11 people. Oh, Russians are being invaded right now. I didn't, I didn't realize that. Egypt has been destroyed. Congo's done a pretty good job considering that they had kind of a slower start to everybody else. Angola and Egypt started on the map. This was just a settled city and they have 500 people. Now, are they dealing with anything right now? Luckily, the zombies, I think, are exclusively in Europe and Asia. They haven't moved too much into Africa yet. Oh, is this the canal. Is that going to save them? It looks like the Suez Canal might keep the zombies away for a little bit. Oh, this fire is definitely not going to help the humans at all either. Turkey, who's in modern day Germany for some reason. Oh, well, luckily there are some Turkish that are hiding in Denmark. This little island's going to keep them safe. Crazy that, like, China almost killed Japan, but then China just died to India. So, I guess like being on an island is kind of a blessing and a curse. No, no, USA has already collapsed. Mexico better watch out. Argentina is also catching up to the north in terms of population. We have our first state now that are joining in on us. Manchuria is its own thing. Although it looks like India's invading. India- Wow. I, Never mind then. India just wanted to make me look like a massive idiot, I guess. Time to spin the wheel of death again. Oh, there is- there is no Brazil. I guess that just goes to Argentinian-controlled Brazil then. That's really too bad because Argentina was starting to catch up to the U.S. Again, there has to be one empire at least that stops them. You just got to get a hold over the problem as soon as possible. Don't let them infect anymore. Oh, they literally are starting fires. How are the zombies? Are the zombies literally on fire? Why are they doing these insane tactics for Argentina? These are kamikaze zombies. They do not care if they live or die. Did one lit like just light himself on fire? Oh no, these zombies have demons for help. Those little demon guys guys are like running around. Are the demons fighting the zombies? Wow, Argentina, you are literally going to collapse in hellfire. I don't know how else to describe it. Ooh, an independent Quebec with 150 people in it. Now that's nice. I don't know if you're going to survive. You also have like Alaska over here. Somehow Turkey's still alive when they had like 11 people. Oh, Russia's gone. Yeah, I didn't know that like zombies could just run around on fire for a little bit. Oh, this guy was smart enough to go into the water. Yo, these zombies are getting way too smart out here. Humans have no chance. Now if they're smart enough to go in the water, like are they going to do naval invasions through the ocean? Oh, wait, 
wait, yeah, so the zombies do know how to make it into islands. They're showing us right here. Turkeys kept themselves safe by hiding in Denmark, but not for much longer. There is not much room. The English Channel is so thin right here on the map. I don't know how long the Brits are going to be able to survive like this. Japan might be okay. This would not be an easy venture. I mean, somewhat, but they'd have to bust a mission. India has literally been destroyed. They just have their territory in China now. I really think that, like, the zombies have figured out what fire is, and they're lighting themselves up and just running into villages like... Oh! Well, hello, Nigeria, or maybe I should just say goodbye instantly because the Congo are sending, well, they had a thousand people for a second there. They're sending them all in there. They do not appreciate your independence. I think they wanted to stranglehold over this continent. Could it be possible that actually Africa defeats everybody? Brazil has already fallen in Argentina. They did not stop the zombies. I did not think this continent would be the most likely. I was actually going to pick Australia if I had to choose in the very beginning, but I luckily didn't have to. Burma's gone. They got one dude left. He's probably hiding somewhere in these mountains. Oh, he's right there. He's taking out some zombies though. All right. Might as well go down with the bang. Now, is there a very big horde left? This horde is probably not big enough. Again, China's geography, or should I say India's geography, is going to keep them somewhat safe. Although they are attacking from like Central Asia. Ooh. Zombies don't like the Himalayas. They don't have a good mountain climbing ability. What the hell is that thing? Is this a zombie sheep? They got zombie animals now? When are we going to tell me that? What do zombie sheeps do? Oh, look at this poor bastard. Oh my god. He's running straight into- Oh no. Oh, please don't tell me this is a child. He's four- <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I guess that explains why he was so dumb. Literally running into this. Okay, uh, I don't think India's gonna survive for much longer. Are they getting, like, help from, like, some zombie boats down here? Have these zombies mastered the art of ship building? There is a storm happening this way. How do zombies do in, like, the rain? One by one, this map is slowly depopulating. South America's probably going to be next, but look at Africa. It's still, with over 1,100 people in it, I don't know if there's any zombies at all over here. They haven't even figured out about Africa. There probably has been like one or two. Like this guy's getting somewhat close. He's going to try it. He's thinking about it. Maybe they didn't teach this one how to swim and they probably didn't teach him how to light himself on fire either. Surprised he's not doing that tactic like all the other ones. How is Russia and Turkey still around? That is amazing. These zombies really had it out for India. They did not stop until they destroyed India. India for a second there was the strongest nation and they have just gone from city to city. Iran, India, Burma, China, and now Manchuria. They will survive because I don't know. This peninsula is actually a really smart spot. They could be the last ones left. There's an asteroid that just fell from space. These humans just cannot catch a break. Maybe we'll see some alien zombies now. Basically, the best way for the AI to win this is just to slow it down. Like, you will eventually collapse into anarchy. But your best bet is to, like, use geography to the best of your abilities. Oh, I was gonna say like Argentina, but, uh, everything's on fire down here and that apparently did not work. Well, you know what? If you placed your settlement on this side of the Andes Mountains, then maybe you'd been better off. Zombies seem to have problems. Oh, well, they did have problems with mountains. They do eventually kind of figure it out. Do they know about... Oh, yep, they know about what's going on up here. Oh, boy, that's bad. Now, U.S. kind of have a lot of their stuff down, though. Who will last longer? The Congo or the United States? The Congo are losing population, and I think it's because they're trying to expand too much. Don't expand into zombie territory. They clearly have a nice claim to this stuff. Is Turkey finally gonna fall? How is Turkey still around? Ah, it's these guys. That's right. No, no, no. They're gonna try. This guy was gonna try. I think he's just going for a, a nice leisure swim. India has survived over here. Good on them. Although Japan has just declared war on them. That's not very nice, Japan. Who is the next unlucky? Oh, South Africa. Now, that's a new nation that just popped up, but this is going to give the Congo a lot of problems. South Africa literally only has 27 people. This is not even nice. And you know what's really unfair about this? If they had, like, a thousand population, then maybe they'd be able to stop the initial, like, onslaught. But because they have just a little bit, it's gonna cause them a lot of issues. Wow, the UK completely died. Turkey is still around. Oh, man, they really really finally made some use for Denmark. Who would have thought Legoland being the most crucial part of the map? This whole thing just burned into ruins. Oh, it's because demons. There was no zombies that took them out. It was legitimately just demon spawns from hell. Is it demon spawn from hell? I think it is not plural. Whoa! Earthquake? Where'd that earthquake happen at? Love the ruins in Iberia too. Hey, the zombies are looking for a home. They're checking out these houses. Where was that earthquake at? I didn't even see where that was labeled. South Africa is of course gone and now those zombies are slowly going to grind away at the Congo. Even though the Congo have over a thousand people, that is slowly going to collapse. Oh, it's collapsing fast too. But who is going to go first? That's the question. Also, do not underestimate the islands or some of the, like, maybe Turkey is going to win this. It is so possible. India, I doubt. India is definitely not going to make it. Oh yeah, look, they're, oh yeah, zombies still really dislike them. Japan could win too. I, I guess we could have put our money on the UK or Japan, but, uh, well, 
This game really didn't want the UK to win. I actually think this is going to be the biggest twist of all time. The Congo and the US are slowly going to collapse. These smaller places just have to survive? Might be the biggest miracle ever. The undead army is only growing down this way. Why did you guys never build boats? You should have built boats. You had so much time. I see no boat in the water though. Texas is gone and they are now visiting Florida. Zombies second favorite home. Probably Florida. Florida or Australia. Either one. The Americans are down to four. Oh and they just right in front of us. Big old revolutions taking place. The Congo are definitely going to outlast the US. But they might not survive. Oh Turkey's finally gone. India is holding on with two people. Oh three. They're finding a way to mate even though these zombies are running around. Fun times. Gotta do that quietly. And the US is gone. Or kind of. Who would have thought the only land that was like still surviving is Canada? I mean the Canadian land at least. What were these guys doing? Just a little exploration of the North Pole? Trying to find Santa? Santa is in this game and he will whoop you. Robotic Santa that is. There we go. There's finally a harbor. I just don't know why you're not putting all your women and children on there and send them out to sea. You guys can survive as a society out here in the Atlantic, maybe. Japan has now once again tried to help the zombies, because I think Japan knows that they might win this year. They're trying to take out the final two Indians. There is literally just a couple keeping India alive, and they're probably having a blast doing it. Wow, and North America is... Wow. It's just Alaska. Have they found you? They they found you and everything. It's over up here and we're down to three. The thing is though, whatever India has done, they have figured out a way to master it. They will not go down without a fight. Maybe, where are they? Is there a gulag up here that they're hiding in? It's like a prison or something. Maybe there's one dude over this way. Or maybe there's just one Indian randomly running throughout Russian lands just by himself. But he's keeping the population around. The Congo are down to one city. There were 80 people here. If you hide behind these Moroccan mountains, maybe you'll make it. Look at this, this is so unfair. Look at that army. This is ridiculous. And miraculously, India and Japan have outlived the US and the Congo. Some of the biggest empires we've seen ever. This is the question on everyone's mind though. As soon as the zombies master the art of swimming, that's when these guys have to worry. Because there's like a human, I think that has, I don't know, become one with the zombies. Maybe he did the strategy of just like putting, oh no, why did I say that? And Japan has won. I really thought for a second there India was going to win. I just had never seen someone continue to hold on. I mean, Turkey was doing okay. They were in Denmark. I love how the British Isles are still just on fire. Well, there you have it. Anime world is going to have to repopulate. If they're lucky, this empire can maybe turn all the zombies into weebs and they'll just be like, mindlessly watching animation television all day and that's how humans can rebuild i don't know thanks for watching and big thanks the september patrons max cooper majestic Unicorn, i love mark drew's a sussy bucka changed drew's my mind thick girl braxton girlfriend drew's argentinian grandpa bring back poland arian after hours alfonso m6 barnsky w dalton d Poulsen, luxenberg lover Nick Blorf, mine brothers 999x2 Poppy, drew Wu, patrick c elijah senpai and stormtrooper 501 thank you